What's up, free thinker? Don't always agree, but we really have a lot of respect for you. And I really do appreciate your replies. You're making basically the claim that it, that it comes equal from both sides. I, I don't think I'd go as far as to say that. Well, it's funny. I, I hear two polar opposite things on a regular basis. I hear that the, the parties are all one and the same. You know, I get that a lot, especially from people who like my Christian channel but politically differ from me a lot. I get this notion that because you're a conservative, you, know, you just drink this Kool-Aid, there even is a difference between the two parties. And, and I feel what they're saying, too. Uh, essentially, it's like Democrat and Democrat light, in my opinion. Like the other complaint is there's just all this hard-line partisanship that the country's way too divided, that the two parties do not have enough common ground. And so it's kind of funny to me that I get, I get complaints on the two ends of the spectrum. What I would say to you, free thinkers, if you think about even 2008, by everybody's measure, really close to the most liberal center that Congress could cough up on the left side of the aisle. The guy mirrors this, you know, the social democrats of Europe by way of his thinking and his policies. So that's who the democrats ran. On the right, they ran John McCain. This guy is as centrist as the right or the conservatives, which, you know, John McCain is hardly a conservative, but this is as centrist as we can get. And still, the left complained about his far-right stance. It's all nonsense. And I also hear about how the right has drifted so far radical. Again, I would give this example. In 2004, the Democrats ran Lieberman. Joe Lieberman was on the ticket. Carrie Lieberman. Now the guy's ostracized. Jump ahead four more years and we run the most centrist senator in John McCain. And the Democrats run a hardline socialist. Who's drifted? Who's drifted? I would argue that the Republicans have drifted way too far to the center. And then the liberals are just off the reservation to the left. And I don't really see how you reasonably argue with that. I don't even like to associate myself with the Republicans. But clearly, between the two parties, the Republicans are much more the safe bet if you want fiscal sanity. And at this point, that's the most pressing issue. Obviously, the social issues are very important to people, myself included. But the parties are not the same, man, and things are not a moral equivalent. They're not. I disagree with you here. There is a degree of partisanship, vicious partisanship, that's gone so far that the country's almost stagnant. I do agree with you there. I'm a big fan of being civil. The thing I find interesting about America right now is before, I think the two parties had similar goals by way of the end game. You know, I think we wanted the same things at the end. We're just kind of different on how to get there. I don't think that's the case with the country today. It's almost as if we want two different countries. And I don't think that's going to fix itself anytime soon, because I think ideologically, that's just a fact. I think the two parties want totally different things. And in a lot of those areas, I don't see where you find common ground. Where do you find common ground on people who want completely different outcomes than you? I don't know. Countries are in a really, really interesting place. Somebody's going to win this battle. I hope it's the conservatives. If you're not subbed the free thinker, you need to be subbed to him. Yeah, I call him the UN. You know, him and Jack are like the UN of YouTube, in a good way. If the UN was competent and worth its weight and salt.